Hi, let's see how to build a graph using Excel. And we are going to do this by using uh, this uh, distribution of ages of a group of 70 individuals, for which we know that we have 15 individuals, which are 18, 14, which are 19, etc. Well, it's pretty simple. The only thing we have to do is just to select what are the information, let's say these two columns, and then we go to insert. We want to insert a graph, let's say a bar graph, and then we select this or this other, it's up to you, but this type is fine. And you will see about, the, well, it's pretty simple. We have the graph and there is nothing else to be done. We can, once it's done, we can even select different options by clicking in different, in different uh, pictures, as you see. Let's remain in this one. <clears throat> and um, by clicking in this plus, you see that we can label that we want titles for the axis, or we can skip that, or we can keep a title for the graph, or we can skip that. We can have labels for every bar, for instance, showing the, the, the data, or we can skip that, or we can show the table, or we can skip that, etc., etc. There is something I want to let you know, that if in some versions of Excel, you can do this this way very easily, but in some other versions, if you work with this, let's say these two columns, it can be the case that, well, you have um, something like this. Look, I, I just in order to show you what the problem can be, I just select these columns, and then I say I want to insert a new graph like this. And well, it's like, it's, rep being re it's just representing one, two, three, four, five. Well, sorry, one, two, three, four, five different options um, and it's not really identifying that the first column is exactly the um, the label as we had here for every category right so um, it's important you have really uh, into account what are you working with in my recommendation that it's first you just select the information you want to show and second in some occasions you will have to skip look you have to remove the label of the first column if you do that that way, for sure, you will have no problem. If you say, I want to insert, uh, let's say this way now, this is a bar, which is horizontal, and this will be represented properly, okay? One other things I want to show you is that once we have selected the graph, the only thing we have to do, if we want to show the information regarding the accumulated frequencies, relative frequencies, etc., is just to select this column, I left click, and then I move it. Well, the graph changes automatically Representing new information. For instance, here we have the uh, relative distribution, or uh, and the here we have the accumulated the relative distribution. Not pretty complicated, I guess. Um, we can also select other type of graphs, like I don't know, let's say the pie graph, or this one which is rings representing rings. Okay, with every category being represented here. Well, there are thousands of opportunities you have to play around with Excel just to represent the better way you, you want your variable of interest.